Hi friends, it's me, Jenny. We're back for another lesson this week, and we're talking about how the Holy Spirit guides us. Did you know that the Holy Spirit guides you? I thought of a good question the other day. If Holy Spirit isn't a person like my mom or dad as a person or my brother or sister as a person, if I can't like actually hear his voice or if I um, can't see how he would guide me, how can I hear him? How do I know? First of all, we need to ask Jesus into our hearts and then he saves us and then the Bible tells us that Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. That means that he lives inside of you and he lives inside of me. Isn't that great? So the first and best way to hear from Holy Spirit after we get saved is simply to ask him to speak to us. Pastor Jeff often talks about saying hello to Holy Spirit in the morning. He'll say, good morning, Holy Spirit, when he gets out of bed. I think that that's a great thing to practice doing. In fact, that'll be part of our challenge today. I'll show you that a little bit later. The first thing is to ask Holy Spirit to guide us. What's another way that he can guide us? The Bible says in Psalms 119, 105, your word is like a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. The Word is talking about the Word of God, the Bible. Reading the Bible and learning the lessons in the Bible is another way that Holy Spirit guides us. So if you learn a lesson like we learn a lesson today, and then later on you think about that lesson, then that's a way that Holy Spirit speaks to us. Have you ever done something or maybe said something that you knew was a bad choice or just wasn't nice and automatically you think, ugh, ugh, and you have that like sick feeling maybe in your stomach or even in your heart? That, my friends, is called an inner witness and that is another way that Holy Spirit guides us. Have you ever prayed because maybe you were afraid of something? like maybe afraid of the dark or sleeping in your own room by yourself. When we pray and ask Holy Spirit to take our fears away, He does it. He's faithful to come to us and to comfort us. That's what He does. Our memory verse is Galatians 5.25, let us follow the Spirit. And this week I thought, here's a, here is the sign that I made that I was talking about before. It says, good morning, Holy Spirit. This is our challenge today. I want you to make a picture like this, um, something that says, good morning, Holy Spirit. Parents on the website will have a link if you'd like to download the actual coloring page, but otherwise you can make your own. Just make sure it says, good morning, Holy Spirit, and then tape it somewhere near your bed or put it beside your bed so that when you wake up in the morning, you see it and it reminds you to say good morning to Holy Spirit. Thank you for having your listening ears on today, friends. You did a great job. We'll see you on Saturday with some more activities. Bye.